The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called Bad Territory. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. And the show is rated TVPG, so this video will be Let's Dive Right In. So, yeah, understandably, um, Omega's not super happy about the idea of, you know, having to, to stay behind. I like the, the bits about, you know, all the stuff Crosshair missed, you know, and and Omega referring to, ah, what was her name again, Fee? Referring to her, you know, the way she likes to be referred to. I like that, you know, we don't actually see... they. The two, you know, Hunter and, and Wrecker spend almost no time in the cantina before someone is, like, shooting someone else. And the, the bartender just, you know, hits one of, hits the shooter over the head with a bottle. Like, it's Tuesday. You know, it's nothing. Let's see. And, yeah, you know, at first, Fennec is like, I have no business with them. And, you know... They're like, you know, no, this is the, the, yeah, you, you, you know, you're not getting away from Mickey Mouse that easy. You know, you did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., now you're going to do Star Wars. Seriously, Lou, apparently she's really, really happy about, like, ming Wen apparently loved writing a, um, crap, what which, I'm mixing them up. It, was it a Bantha? You know, be, or not, I suppose her, she wasn't writing it, but she, you know, she was on a, a Bantha for, for a book of Boba Fett, and there's like an interview clip where she's like, you know, her eyes light up talking about it. And, let's see, yeah, and they talk about, you know, Ozzy does a scan, and... <clears throat> Yeah, you know, if Crosshair opens up about the experiments, maybe there would be more that they could do about the hand, and he is very reluctant. So I appreciate how they're they're building towards, you know, at some point we're going to get more details about these experiments and appreciate why the his hand is, is messed up now. Ming Wen does a fantastic job this episode. They they give her a lot of really great lines she can really sink her teeth into. And let's see. Yeah, I like the thing about, you know, what's in the water? Let's just say I never get in the water. And then, you know, was, well, there's something you gotta, you know, you gotta the the mines are a problem, they're in the water. But you said never you said you never get in the water. I don't. You're going to get in the water, you know. She's really milking it, like the the, and and she does also say, you know, I didn't lose Omega, you know. I agreed to let her go when the the score was called off. And yeah, the the mines and fighting these Star Wars versions of like crocodiles, very very cool. Great tension there. And, yeah, Fennec sends the clones to, to take care of the, the yeah, the one they're, they're after while she remains lookout. And, and, you know, there's even the line, so we take all the risk, you get all the reward. Yep. Let's see. And yeah, some really great fighting between, you know, no no wonder this this one is so slippery. You know, like, holy crap. Uh, and, you know, all this security and the escape route and all this stuff. Let's see. I like Omega trying to be supportive of, of Crosshair. Like, you almost hit that one and he's like, you, you know, it is a bullseye or it is a miss. 
and there's no, or yeah, I guess he didn't say bullseye, but you you know you either hit or miss. I just, and and yeah, you know, after all that, she doesn't actually have the information yet, and you know, she yeah, she radios or yeah, contacts someone and says, you know, I'm sure you can find them. So yeah, that sounds distinctly like she's going to, you know, actually betray them, which you know, I I wouldn't rule out the so so. Yeah, she, you know, she's one of those characters, like, bounty hunters already, you know, you got to be careful about trusting them, but in addition to that, she, you know, yeah, she's not super happy about how it worked out with Omega, you know, she's not, so, so yeah, um, yeah, really excellent episode, uh, and yeah, you know, this was another one of those where, like, you know, there there was not a ton of, you know, they they didn't get very much progress, but the the like, you know, based on what happens in this episode, in an upcoming episode, either Fennec returns and gives the information, and it really did just sound ominous, but she, you know, was true to her word, or the, you know, it's going to lead the, you know, yeah, someone to, to catch up with the clones. You know, possibly the Empire. Those are probably their, their biggest enemies. But, but yeah, um... The let's see how I forget how many episodes are in this season. So let's see. In the, this was episode eight. There's fifteen total, so we're more than halfway through. Yeah, I you know they're they're still doing quite a good job gradually moving toward. You know we each episode we get a little bit more about something that's really important to to the plot. And I think I'm just going to do a real quick final check of the I will say I when Fenix sent them and said I'll be the lookout if not for the crocodiles I would have thought is this just a trap? Is she, you know, going to lure them into into a trap and then, like, hand them over or something? But, you know, if that were the case, she would not herself have been participating in fighting the, the crocodiles. She would have, you know, so... Maybe, you know, maybe that's part of why that was there. And yeah, obviously it was great to see and hear Fee again. Great character and yeah, um, yeah, I like this thing. Oh, you know, they're like it's not like the bad bads are jonesing to hook up with Fennec again. It just happens to be, you know, how they, you know, it's a very short list. They can count on one hand how many bounty hunters they feel they have any chance of, of trusting.